There is no guide. Show me your feet. No, but but really. Um, the, the, the Abyssrium Pole event is out. It's ancient Egypt, which is neat. And there's no hidden fish at all. Like, usually there would only be one, which was already, you know, not very fun. Not to me. Um, and now there's nothing. Now there's just nothing. Um, it works just like all of the other events. So I'll go through a quick little overview of how the event works in general, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> I'm feeling so done with this game lately. And it not having hidden fish really would kind of be the final nail in the old coffin. Um, I think I'll have a video later this week, probably, talking about hidden fish and how I think it really made the game a community. Because, I mean, look, none of us would be here. None of us would be in discords, in a subreddit, on YouTube. None of us would be talking to each other about Abyssrium. At least, like, 90% of us wouldn't be. Unless there were hidden fish that we need to look for. And it seems like they've just decided that no, that's not going to be a thing anymore. <laughs> so I don't have much to do anymore. I don't even play the game normally, I just only checked out the hidden fish and now it's not going to be a thing either. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been a... It's been a hell of a weekend, so um... I'm not really in the mood to make that video right now. So we're just going to take a look at the features and the new event. There's 11 fish, there's in-app purchases and crap. Um, I'm not gonna look at the in-app purchases, but let's just look at the fish. The the unlock creature, or the unlock criteria, just you just click to look at them. It's, it's all in-game, so I'm not even gonna check it out. I'm just gonna look at the fish. Atlantic Bonito. At least he's not, you know, a photo fish. Ugh, remember. Remember the horrible days of the photo fish. Oh, goodness. He's all right. He's, he's, an, he's a fine boy. Kubia. I like that name. He's almost like cute Kubia from uh, Dot Hack. Except very much not, but it sounds kind of like it. Red Snapper. That is... I'm, I'm so used to seeing the Animal Crossing Red Snapper. It's... It feels honestly like kind of upsetting <laughs> to see it in any other art style. It's weird. I, I don't know. He looks alright, but it's so foreign to my eyes. I don't even know how to process that. Catfish! Look at that fine boy. You know, those whiskers are for detecting things, like on the seafloor, which... This is really what... So whiskers are sense organs, if you didn't know. They're for feeling things. Cats... Cats know if they will fit in a crevice, um, based on how their whiskers feel, because the whiskers, they're about as wide as they are. So that's what whiskers are for, if you didn't know. He's an alright boy. I like the colors. Good colors on him. Good color options. Dorcas Gazelle? <laughs> what a Dorcas. Um, look at him go. A fine boy. A fine boy, I suppose. Egyptian Goose? Okay, I was about to, I was just about to say, um, where's the, where's the Egypt part? Um, I'm kind of torn because, like, I prefer the real fish, but at the same time when there's a quote-unquote event and it's like, the magical theme park, and then it's like, penguins, and like, regular anchovies and like ducks it's like what was this got to do with the theme again but hey it's an egyptian go look at that sassy walk look at that sass damn girl look at that that, that is a good walk though that, that, that's my favorite so far definitely <laughs> oh an ibis okay i but now now we're getting relevant i guess it's fish around egypt but <laughs> I don't know. The red snapper does not really immediately bring Egypt to mind. It brings Animal Crossing to mind, obviously. And Ibis, on the other hand, that, that definitely does bring Egypt to mind. That's... That, it's an Ibis. It, it's not bad by any means, but it's, it's kind of just what you expect. It's got such a striking head with that little big pointy boy. Great Spotted Cuckoo. I have no idea if those... Or African or Egyptian or anything, but he looks all right. He's doing his best. Camel, obviously, yes. Yes. Oh, my brain is trying to piece together that that Monty Python joke about a dromedary has two humps, and a camel is a train. But I, I... long, long week, longer weekend, and not not in the good way. <laughs> anyway. 
I've, I'm in, I don't know if anybody else, like, I get the opposite of stress eating. Um, I ordered a pizza, and that was a huge mistake. I, I ate, like, three pieces, and I reheated today, and I could eat two pieces. And, ugh, I, I just get, I lose the appetite, I lose, I, I can't sleep, and that's, ugh. That, that's happened way too much since, since March, really. Anyway, Black Jackal? Okay, yes, that's, that, this, this is more what I was expecting. I guess those of you that like your events more subdued, you'll like this. Um, I like this. The, uh, the, the Ancient Egypt event in regular Abyssinium was really good. Um, I, I thought the, the designs were mostly really good and s kind of subtle like this, where it's definitely an Egyptian thing, but it's not like, you know, an eel with like 16,000 like party hats embedded in it or something, you know? But yeah, the Black Jackal is the last fish quote-unquote creature in the thing there are no hidden fish there's no there's no guy why is this why is it so dark by the way it, on my phone it isn't this dark but when I'm using um when I'm playing on Nox which is the emulator I use it's so dark why speaking of dark um I was thinking of an idea for a stream um we could do some dramatic readings of bad fan fiction like um what's it called my Immortal or whatever, the, um, that terrible Harry Potter fic. <coughs> um, anyway, the, the, the basics of events, events in, in Abyssrium Pole, they, they don't appear to expire. Like, you can still get all of these things. Still get, let's see what this looks like. Wait, what? I think it's stuck on a fish. There we go. Let's see what these look like. No. No, let me see. Uh, let me see what the other ones look like, though. No. no? Did I break it? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's- oh, that's not a UI. Oh, that's terrible. Why is it like that? Why- why is it- Why does this show this? This looks like a UI and it's not. You lied to me. Okay, this is how it works. Jeez. So like, that's what the desert looks like. That, that's kind of neat. It looks very strange in context, but it's neat, I guess. Violet C. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, that is really good. I like that a lot. I do kind of like that, that though thus far, the event, no, the events don't seem to expire. Um, I'd be down with events that don't expire, but Hidden Fish. Hidden Fish was so fun. Every every update, we would rush online. Oh, I, I did a thing. Uh, every, every, every update, we'd all rush online, talk to each other, figure out, do stupid crap on our devices, play them upside down and stuff, trying to figure out the new Hidden Fish. It was like evolving new Pokemon. It was like exciting and, and interesting, and now it's gone. Anyway, the only other feature of events is these treasure discovery things. And you just... Basically, it's just, it's just Gashapon that fills these things out. You, you unlock these treasures, you get these boosts, and you get, um... You know, there's, there's graphical upgrades as you, uh, do things. Hey Horus, how you doing? How's your horoscope? I'm sorry. Oh, I like the kitty! Kitty, that's the good one. Um, ceremonial. Don't you mean ship nobilis? Come on. Base camp of the desert. These are kind of neat. Workers labor. <laughs> yes, workers. P paid, paid non-slave workers. Yes, good. <laughs> um, you basically just either spend pearls or watch ads and then you get treasure chests. If you've played almost any mobile games, I'm sure you've, you've encountered a system like this. I do believe that duplicates are culled from the system, so once something is fully unlocked, you'll stop getting pieces for it, once it's at level 10 or whatever. And uh, then you'll start getting pieces for other things, so it's not its not that bad. It's not as bad as Gashapon can be. And beyond that, um, there is one up- there's one other... Not hidden. Uh, how do I do this? Where's the pearl fish? 
again? Gosh, it's, it's been so long, I don't even remember how the UI works. Is it here? No, it's here. Um, there's a meerkat, not required for the event. And again, the if you're used to Abyssrium, the customization items were always really important to events. In pull, they don't matter at all. You don't need them. Though this thing, this is really pretty. It just sucks how terrible the, the rate of getting pearls is. I don't really play too much, so I, I guess maybe it's better than I think, but I played a bit. I mean, how much vitality do I got? How do I get out of this menu? Why is the back button not? What are you doing, Parker? It's not a toy. Um, <clears throat> well, I only have F vitality. People are in like three letters, and I'm like, yeah, but that's that's how much I've been playing. Um, but yeah, this is Abyssrium Pull. This is, um... Oh, those are, f oh, those are flat. Those are real flat. Um, th that's the event. Um, I'm really hoping Aiden Vish come back. I mean, it might be a nice break to not have to, like, you know, look for stuff, I guess. But I always really enjoyed that community aspect. And if, if that's gone, man, that was really the one thing that made me interested in the game was like, I wanted to get the secrets. I love getting the secrets in games. So bring that back and let them know on Facebook and stuff. They, they never change anything if people don't say things. So be, be polite. Don't harass them and, you know, be mean and stuff. But just tell them, hey, I really enjoyed this feature. Will, will, will it be back? You know, stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to take advice from this penguin and sail off to the south or something, I don't even know.